membrane system endo within is a group of membranes and organelles in eukaryotic cells that work together to modify package and transport lipids and proteins it includes the nuclear envelope lysosomes and vesicles the endoplasmic reticulum and golgi apparatus we will be cover covering shortly The nuclear envelope is a double membrane structure that constitutes the outermost portion of the nucleus. Both the inner and outer membranes of the nuclear envelope are phospholipids, bilayers. The nuclear envelope is punctured with pores that control the passage of ions, molecules, and RNA between the nucleoplasm and the cytoplasm. This combination of DNA and proteins is called as a chromatin. They look like thin fibers at the time of cell division, and they condense into chromosome composed of DNA, the hereditary material, and proteins. A darkly staining area within the is called as the nucleolus plural nucleoli. Endoplasmic reticulum, ER, is a series of interconnected membranous tubules that collectively modify proteins and synthesize lipids. However, these two functions are performed in separate areas of the endoplasmic reticulum. Number one, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and secondly, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, respectively. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, RER, is so named because the ribosomes attached to its cytoplasmic surface give it a studded appearance when viewed through an electron microscope and mainly used in productions of protein. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, SER, is continuous with the RER but has few or no ribosomes in its cytoplasmic surface. The SERs Functions include synthesis of carbohydrate, lipids including phospholipids, and steroid hormones. Uh, it has a role in detoxification of medications and poisons, uh, example alcohol metabolism, and also involved in storage of calcium ions. The sorting, tagging, packaging, and distribution of lipids and proteins takes place in the Golgi apparatus, also called as the Golgi bodies. These are series of flattened membrane sacs. The lysosomes are the cell's garbage disposal. Vesicles and vacuoles are membrane-bound sacs that function in storage and transport. For oxisomes are small, round organelles enclosed by single membranes. They carry out oxidation reactions that break down fatty acids and amino acids. The central vacuoles plays a key role in regulating the cell's concentration of water in changing environmental conditions. Ribosomes are the cellular structures responsible for protein synthesis. When viewed through an electron microscope, free ribosomes appear as either clusters or single tiny dots floating in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes may be attached to either the cytoplasmic site of the plasma membrane or the cytoplasmic site of the endoplasmic. Mitochondria, singular mitochondrion are often called the powerhouses or energy factories of a cell because they are responsible for making adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the cell's main energy carrying molecule. The formation of ATP from the breakdown of glucose is known as cellular respiration. Mitochondria are oval shaped double membrane organelles that have their own ribosomes and DNA. Each membrane is a phospholipid bilayer embedded with protein layer has folds called cristae, which increases the surface area of the inner membrane. The area surrounded by the fold is called the mitochondrial matrix. The cristae and the matrix have different roles in cellular respiration. 
Now, in keeping with our theme of form following function, it is important to point out that muscle cells have a very high concentration of mitochondria because muscle cells need a lot of energy to contract. Now, like mitochondria, chloroplasts also have their own DNA and ribosome. Plast function in photosynthesis and can be found in eukaryotic cells such as plants and algae. In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide, water, and light energy are used to make glucose and oxygen. This is a major difference in animals. Plants, autotrophs are able to make their own food like glucose, whereas animals, heterotrophs, must rely on other organisms for their organic compounds or food source. Like mitochondria, chloroplasts have outer and inner membranes, but within the space enclosed by a chloroplast's inner membrane is a set of interconnected and stacked fluid-like membrane sacs called thylakoid. Each stack of thylakoid is called as a granum, plural grana. The fluid enclosed by the inner membrane and the surrounding the grana is called as the stroma. The chloroplasts contain a green pigment called as chlorophyll, which captures the energy of sunlight for photosynthesis. Not only does the extracellular matrix hold the cell together to form a tissue, but it also allows the cell within the tissue to communicate with each other. Most animal cells release materials into the extracellular space. The primary Components of these materials are glycoproteins and the protein collagen. Collectively, these materials are called as the extracellular matrix. It is a watertight seal between two adjacent animals. Also found in only in animal cells are desmosomes, which act like spot wells between adjacent epithelial cells. Junctions are found in animal cells, and these are like similar to plasma desmera in plant cells, in which there are channels between the adjacent cells that allow for the transport of ions, nutrients, and other substances that en enable them to communicate. Um, structurally, however, gap junction and plasma desmera differ. Um, this concludes our, our second lecture of this series.